years, I've got that 100-watt behemoth in my backyard that's on 24-7, and uh, it would just obviously overload the living daylights out of that preamp. And I'm sure that preamp is as wide as a barn door. So unfortunately, I can't use that, but even without it, surprisingly, I have some real good reception. I can only imagine if I put it up on uh, top of the 70-foot uh, tower, the preamp, if I didn't have the radio station there, I'll bet uh, that thing would be gangbusters. Well, my antenna did not come with a preamp. It it did come with the uh, the splitter up there, which is obviously in use. And I've got a channel master, theoretically decent preamp that's running up there right now. That's fine. It works. Like I say, Madison's a bit terrain blocked, so when it's uh, foggy or rainy out, I, I occasionally will lose 3 and 15. 15 and 3 seem to be a bit shaky for some reason, but everything else in Madison is quite solid. I'll bet you got a 90 on 27, don't you? Uh, probably. The other one, 47, I'll bet you got a 90 on that too. And I've got uh, 57 and 21. I got about 21, yeah, you probably got a, a, a 90 on that one too. Yeah, uh, 3 and 15 are the only the only two that are shaky. And that's, they're only shaky in bad weather. So, not too bad. Milwaukee's quite solid, except for Channel 10, which is VHF. I get good PSIP out of it, but only occasionally do I get enough to decode any video. Did Pappas ever get his offering on the air up there in uh, Richfield? N9. G M T repeater. Uh, I don't know about Richfield. I don't believe there's anything running there. Uh, obviously, 52, uh, whatever its RF channel is now, over here in Iron Ridge, Mayville, is still doing the uh, the multiple sub channels of religious broadcasting.
sure who you're talking about. 